Hi, and welcome to this, uh, I'm not sure what this is really. Um, I guess it's maybe cliff notes to the book, The Road to Learn React, or maybe a uh, addendum of some sort um, in video format. But my point is, uh, there's a book called The Road to Learn React. It is in incredibly good based on the little bit I started reading, and I figured I'll add uh, just examples and, and just things that uh, might help somebody who's going through this book even further. Uh, with that said, I'm going to skip the first uh, one or two sections of the book and I'm going to start with the requirements, um, you know, the things that you need to start developing in React. Uh, so this book is written by Robin uh, Viroch, uh, an incredibly talented uh, developer out of Germany. And he just has written a crap ton of blog posts, and I'm sure you've come across uh, some of those uh, if you're learning to develop, or at least you will. All right, with that said, uh, let's just get started and uh, go over the requirements. Um, you know, Viruch um, has probably mentioned uh, that a lot of these commands are Linux, Mac based. So if you don't have Linux or Mac, I recommend that you get something that allows you to run. Uh, Linux commands, um, maybe something like uh, git bash, um, you know, so download uh, git bash for Windows. This allows you to run Linux commands or, uh, yeah, Linux based commands. Uh, so I definitely recommend that. Uh, also, uh, you're going to need a note, very important note, along with npm. And you're going to download note. So, so here's, an, here's the page where you can download it from. Uh, just download that. It's not a visual app, so it's just installed on your system. Um, yeah, but you're going to need that. That's very important. And then uh, you need a code editor. You can use Visual Studio or I use Atom. It's free. It's lightweight. Um, and it's been good to me. So, all right, cool. So those are the tools that you need. Uh, once you have uh, Node installed, you should be able to check uh, the version of Node by running Node dash dash version, and then same thing with npm. Uh, npm should come with Node, I believe. And there you go, I have it. Okay, cool. Uh, well, with that with that said, and with Node installed, uh, I think we can just get started with the requirement parts of uh, this book. Uh, there's really only a few commands in this section: um, npm install uh, with the different flags and npm init. That's it. So um, I'll briefly go over what a flag is, but uh, so basically it's two commands. Let's start off with npm uh, install. So uh, npm install, this is the command, npm followed by the word install and then followed by um, the package name that you're trying to install. So let's say I wanna install this package called UUID. Uh, it generates a random ID. So if I run this, actually before I run it, let me make sure my directory is empty. It is. And then now npm install UUID. What does that do? It installs the package uh, locally. Locally means in this directory, creates two folders, node modules, and package-lock.json. You're gonna get very familiar with these files, by the way. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, these I, I call these output files. These are things that like get generated when you run npm install. You can delete them and always recreate them as long as you have, um, and we'll come to that part, to the as long as you have a package.json, not dash lock, .json. Okay, so, okay, so simple, right? Install a package is npm install package. If you wanna install it globally, you add this flag called dash G. And what that will do is it will install it uh, throughout your system. Um, and so if I do rm rf node modules, if I delete the node modules folder and delete uh, the package unlock and then do npm install. And let's just see what how it looks like locally if I do the same thing, but with a dash g for global. Oh, uh, I got permission issue. Have, okay. All right, let's see. Okay, so it did not uh, install node modules and package uh, uh, lock package package dash lock dot json file local uh, in this folder, but the the UUID is installed globally. So if I do this, I believe I should get a version number back. Uh, UUID. Okay. Yeah, well, this is it doesn't give me the version number back, but it is uh, installed. So. 
four. Let me try. Okay. I've never seen that before, to be honest. Um, I usually get a simple version number back. Uh, oh, it generated a a random ID. <laughs> That's what it was. It's uh, it's actually just UUID. The dash dash version didn't even do anything. Uh, it's so okay. Anyway, this is kind of like besides the main topic. All right, so that's npm install. Uh, there's also an npm install dash dash save dash dev, but we'll come back to that after we go over uh, npm init. So let's go over npm init. What is npm init? So the directory is empty. Remember that if I do it ls la to make sure it's empty, there's no hidden files. Yep, it's completely empty. And let's go over npm init. npm init. And I'm gonna add, add this flag dash y. And what that will do is it will create a package.json file. This is different from package-lock.json. So package.json is kind of like the most important file, in my opinion, of a project. It's a configuration file. It's an overview of your project. It has all the information that you need for the project, what scripts can be run, what the main uh, entry point is, the description, and all a bunch of stuff. So when you do npm init, it creates one of these. So now uh, the npm install, uh, when we do an npm install and we do, um, let's say npm install uh, UUID, it will do, it will have, it will create the node modules folder, package lock folder, and the package.json is still there, right? So if I open that up, the package.json and look at it, uh, you'll see under dependency, look, there's UUID. So now UUID is part of this project. Okay, I hope this this helps. Don't worry if it's still confusing. Um, practice is what will make this a lot more clear. Okay, so next up is, um, so, what, uh, so we did over, we went over npm init dash y. If you just do npm init without the dash y, it will ask you like a bunch of questions. It will ask you, what is the package name? You know, and then what is the version number? And it tells you what the default values are if you don't type something in. What's the description and so on? Well, you get the point. Okay. Um, all right. And then there is a, a one more, uh, one more uh, npm install version that uh, Robin went over. Uh, he went. Uh, he mentioned dash dash save dash dev. So if I do that, can anybody guess what's going to happen? Well, uh, let's open up package. JSON, and you'll see under dev dependency, UUID. So this is for dev. This is so the project is saying. Uh, for development, when whenever somebody's develop is in development mode, not in production mode, not not hosted online, uh, serving real you know actual customers and users, uh, when it's in the de developer mode, UUID is one of the dependencies we need. Simple, right? Uh, and then uh, he also mentioned that there's another package manager. By the way, npm we didn't even go over that. Sorry about that. Uh, npm is a node package manager. Uh, it can load packages, which is just like programs, like just like you download programs off the internet. But these are more programs that are more <laughs> subtle, I guess. You don't see they're not in your face. They don't have a GUI a lot of times. So, you know, they're just packages that are installed on your system that you interact with through the command line and use NPM to install them, remove them, and do a bunch of other things. There's another package manager called Yarn. So just you just need to be aware of that, uh, that there is such thing as Yarn as well. And you can install yarn. Uh, you can install packages using yarn. If uh, if I do yarn, I don't know uh, if this is going to work. If I do yarn install UUID, let's see what happens. Uh, replace with add. To. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yarn add UUID. It tells you exactly what the issue was when I ran that last command. These are all things that every developer runs into, by the way. Uh, all right, cool. It looks. There's a bunch of warnings, but there's also a success message, so that's good. If I do ls, look, there's a lock yarn dot lock file, which is like the equivalent of package dash lock. Okay, cool. Um, all right, I think this is it. Um, I hope this helps people. I really want you guys to succeed to learn React. I'm going through this book myself personally as I create these videos because I want to get better at React, uh, and and I will create these videos as I go 
along as I, you know, as I read this book. And I hope it helps somebody. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I help people um, on a regular basis. So yeah. Um, all right, guys. Till next time. Take care. Uh, bye.